Although the Bamboo Lab A1 is a great printer by default, there are four relatively quick and simple models that I'd highly recommend as your first prints, since these will certainly set you on your way. My largest project for the Bamboo Lab A1 so far has been the ultimate filament enclosure, although that aside, there are a couple of relatively small must-have prints that you'll need to churn out before really running the printer for your intended use. So the first and largest of the four is this, a side bin. The printer will waste a lot of filament with multicolour prints, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot sometimes weighing more than the completed model itself, so you need somewhere to collect all that waste, and in comes this bin. There are tons of different variants available online, but a simple bin like this is enough to get the job done, and the number one must have for this printer. Moving on and sticking with the filament waste for the moment, we have this, a filament deflector. So the way this works is the extruder will purge the filament through, then moves away, and the purge wiper flings the filament to the side sometimes quite far, creating a mess when it does miss that waste bin. Enter the deflector. This sits on the side of the purge wiper and stops the filament from travelling too far. So with this in place, the filament simply falls down into the bin every time. A very small but very useful addition. Next, we'll move to the opposite end of the printer, specifically the x-axis motor area. The problem here is with the extruder cable, which is quite soft and flimsy. Hence we have this spring-like model which attaches to the bottom end of the cable and helps to keep the cable up and completely out of the way. As with the other upgrades, this was printed in PLA and it's still springy enough to do the job just fine, yet rigid enough to keep the cable pointing upwards in a much nicer fashion. A second unit is available for the extruder end, but I found this wasn't needed since it clips in alongside the PTFE tubes quite nicely anyways. Talking of PTFE tubes, that brings us on to the final upgrade. Well, more a tool than an upgrade. A very small yet very handy PTFE tube remover. Removing the PTFE tubes, in particular from the extruder, can be quite tough. Use this small tool to push down on the collet and remove the tubes much more easily. And there we have it. Four small yet very useful prints that I'd highly recommend before you set on your printing adventures. I'll leave links to the models shown in this video in the description box below. Happy printing!